Hey there YouTubers. Man, I'm gonna do a quick uh, lesson here on how to use the uh, Power Probe 3. If you don't have this tool, you've got to get one. They've even got new versions of it, but this thing is uh, is amazing. These are uh, getting pretty inexpensive now with newer models out, and I'm gonna show you some of the things that this thing can do. And what we got is we got trailer lights not working. So the question is, is it the truck or is it the trailer? And this tool is going to determine that really fast. Before I start to use the tool, I want to show you the great adapters it has. You can uh, use your own battery source, just a 12 volt battery. Uh, ideally, I like to use the vehicle's battery. And I'll show you why, because I can do a ground verification with this tool, but that is an option. Uh, you can power up components on their own, which I'm going to demonstrate in a bit. And I'm going to take advantage of the 20 foot extra cord that this comes with and the uh, accessory adapter so I could just plug it straight into the uh, pickup trucks accessory port uh, before I start to diagnose so let me get set up here all right as you can see my truck lights are all working fine and on the trailer itself I have one light working and it's only a uh, I'm not even sure if it's a brake or a tail light yet and then on the other one here it's not working at all. Sometimes this can be hard when you're working alone on being able to see things and having to prop up, you know, a weight or something on the brake light to get it to work. But you gotta sometimes be creative as a mechanic to figure that out. So you can see here at least there's a light on. I got nothing over here. So that would tend to make me think that the truck itself is not the issue like a fuse or something so i'm thinking hey there if you're new to this channel i mean this is a perfect example of how authentic this channel is uh i'm not going to give it up right now just continue to watch the whole video but this is the kind of stuff you see that no matter how calculated you think an assumption or a diagnostic step is you mean sometimes it doesn't always work continue watching to see it, i mean it could still be the truck as far as the connector or connection at the at the junction right here that's always a possibility but i since at least one light works you would think that the fuses in the truck are good i have seen in the past on a chevy in particular where it actually had left and right fuses for the turn signals that's a possibility but once again the truck is functioning left and right so it's it's definitely something with the uh the trailer connection or the trailer itself so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to do everything, but more than likely, I think that this is a, a trailer problem. As you can see here, I have two features on this rocker switch. If I go forward, that's positive. It's going to give me the, batter the same battery supply voltage, and that will apply voltage to whatever. So if I wanted to try and arm a component, you'll see that. And I can go backwards, and it'll complete and give me a ground. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to physically test the trailer itself. I have left, right, tail, and ground. And I'm going to go ahead and use that, that trick that I was talking about that I should be able to just apply power of these and the lights should come on on the trailer. Now, here's the thing. This trailer is attached to the tongue here. I'm using, I'm still hooked up to the battery of the pickup truck, so I should not have to supply a ground okay I shouldn't have to but what I want to do is check and verify that this hat is a good ground okay I'm gonna go ahead and verify that this trailer actually has a good ground you can see my white ground wire here and see how easy that is I've got a good ground so I don't have to have some separate wire attached to the pickup it's getting a good ground through the tongue of the truck so my light should be have the ability to have a complete circuit as I go ahead and test the connector itself, I have a good ground. So we're good here, but now what we can do is I can go ahead and I'm gonna supply power to the appropriate connection and that should make the lights light. I'm gonna go ahead for right now and just take this off. It's gonna be a little bit easier here. And I can see here that my tail lights were the second wire in. So let's go ahead, second one in here now. I'm going to go ahead and energize them. 
And what do we know about that left tail light? Bulb could be burnt. Bulb or wires to that. We have something going on for that. Let's go ahead and check the actual brake light. And the right one is here. Okay. Let's check the left brake light. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. And then those would also be our turn signals too. Once connected to the truck there. So we've got definitely a problem with the trailer and with the pickup truck. So we got multiple things going on. I'll show you what I do next. Okay, I, I'm very passionate about this tool. As you could probably tell from my voice from uh, most of you fans that watch a bunch of our videos. But I want to show you something that I just love about this tool. Is the fact that I got a couple light bulbs here and I can test the light bulb. Obviously the old one uh, we'll do a close-up on this. You can see that it's burned out, but I could test the new bulb before I put it in the vehicle to verify that it's good. You remember me talking about how we could supply our own ground with this? Watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and touch the ground of the chassis of the bulb, if you will, here. And you really should attempt not to touch the glass, by the way. And then I'll, I'll energize each one of these legs. One is for the tail light, one is for the brake light improve its capability to to function so go ahead and watch here i got my voltage i'm going to go ahead here now and put my ground on here and touch each one of these that's our burned out filament and then there's the one that works pretty cool so why don't we try and zoom in here so there's a close-up and that filament's burned out let's go ahead and look at a, a good one if you didn't know what you're looking for, that little wire inside there, you can see they're both there. So we know our new bulb is going to be good. Something we need to think about though, this bulb only has one bad filament and one good one and we didn't have anything happening at that socket. So there's something wrong with the wiring or that socket or the connection, the brake light itself, there's something going on that left side still. So we went ahead and when you think about doing maintenance, we went ahead and pulled the other side apart, took the lens off. We're going to use the dielectric grease product uh, and put it back together on both sides and, and give it a try and see if we can get lucky that it was just a connection. So we'll try that now. All right, check this out. I'm not even going to mess around with the wire harness. I'm going to go right in here. I'm going to get my supply voltage and I'm going to test the light. I got, looks like a kind of a dim light, so that'd be my tail light. And I have my brake light. So I have it functioning here. Just stay put and I'll go test it all the way back up at the trailer now and see if we fix it. Bring your little camera down here. Come underneath the trailer here. Look at there. Something must have caught it or something happened. Chop, chopped the wires off. And now we're gonna be able to have the trailer fixed. That still doesn't fix the truck yet. So see how fast uh, we can uh, determine things here with the power probe. I'm going to go ahead and before I make this repair, I'm going to use the power probe right here and prove that the light will work. Oh. It works. Okay, I'll try the other one. Got it. Okay, so this will be easy to fix that. Let's try and focus on the truck itself. All right, we've done our diagnostic as we're playing around the power probe here. You're going to see we actually had blown fuses and there are left and right. I'll show you in the cab in a second. But let's go back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna prove all of this is good. So we're gonna use our same legend here and go to uh, our, let's see, that is right hand. All right, apply the brake. Okay, so with the brake being held, you can see the, and what's cool about this shows the polarity sensitivity. Go down here, you can see that's a ground. Up here, we got the brake. Over here, there's left brake. Go ahead and let off. Power goes away. Left turn signal. See it flashing on and off. Right turn signal. Flashing on and off. So that is a way cool tool. Let's go uh, up under the dash. Like I said at the very beginning of the video, I've seen this before where there's actually right and left fuses on these newer vehicles so we really need to take a look at that on in this particular case we had both of these fuses we had both of these fuses were blown uh, 
So the question is, you got to ask yourself as a diagnostic technician is why, what's going on, what happened? And the only thing you can really do sometimes, just put a fuse in. If it blows immediately, then you got a short or something you need to find right away. You know, there's nothing better than actually producing a video that it's a real problem in real time. And what you're watching here was the diagnostic process as I went. There was no script. This wasn't planned out. It was really a, a logical order of what do you do? Sometimes we check, you know, the really easy stuff first. And, and I didn't. I didn't check the fuses on the truck. You know, I went right into, ah, you know, the lights all work on the truck. You know, and thinking that. You know, the reality of it is I'm not a car expert and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not real familiar with, uh, you know, the uh, um, the uh, fuses in an uh, automotive situation, obviously, right? And, uh, you know, went after the trailer with the one light not working and fixed that. And, and you know, just think of the method that you're going to use when you're being a technician. You know, what makes the most sense? And so as I went along with this... Um, Obviously, you saw that in the video, but man, I can't tell you enough, man. That Power Probe, what a what a life changing tool for technicians. I mean, when you go the majority of your life and you didn't have that, and you were using paper clips and jumper cables and alligator clips, and you were trying to supply powers and grounds, what a fast, phenomenal tool. And what you didn't get to see in the video very well was the fact that it is a voltmeter. So not only do you get to you know power up and complete you know ground circuits if needed, but you actually get to see the voltage that you're applying to a circuit. And when I said earlier that I like to actually use the vehicle's battery, what's great about that is let's say you're doing something that's really hard to diagnose. And if you're using the vehicle's battery and say it's 20, 30 minutes later, and now that supply voltage with the key on has, has dropped quite a bit because you got headlights going or other circuits, you might get bad testing or bad results, excuse me, because your supply voltage is now too low. So the voltmeter reading that you can engage that and actually see, wait a second now, you know, I started on a fully charged battery, it's 12.6 volts, you turn a key on, it might drop to 11.8, and now all of a sudden you start seeing, oh, I only have 11.5, 11.3, and things aren't matching the service manual or matching what you would expect. There you go. You, you have that instant access to go, what am I supplying to this, you know? perfect example is what if you're uh, doing headlights or any any type of light and it seems dim i mean you got dirty connection or you got low supply voltage so listen just regardless what a cool tool can't recommend it enough um hope you enjoyed the video here trailer lights fixed uh make it a great day keep wrenching and we'll see you again soon if you like what you see here would you please share it i'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh technical education and uh um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.